All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Game number 13 here in the uh, Will Cheese Fail Cold Cast Marathon number 12. Not really, but number 12. <laughs> Mr. Maxis Black, yeah. hit me up with the sound of your mixer slowly dying. <laughs> it's like the weirdest sound I've ever heard. It literally, somebody said, is that a Timex watch from the 90s I'm hearing right now? Because it sounded like <laughs> that fucking beep noise whenever you start and stop the freaking stopwatch on those dope Timex watches. Remember video in arcade? Do. How they pilfered fucking Timex watches like every show, and there and there are these like ugly, bulky fucking oh, it was bad, nasty looking watches. But it was man. the '90s, and so it was kind of acceptable. Uh, they would literally put an overlay on the screen and yeah, be like this like bulky Timex. like Timex shit. <laughs> so bad. Dude. Uh, down to the bottom left hand side of Galactic Process. Uh, we have Binta, the red Protoss, and in the top right, we have Roger Roger, the blue Protoss. PvP, who will cheese who, and in what fashion? Uh, I guess while while this is going on, I'll share a little thing. Oh, we're sharing things now. Um, I mentioned on Light TV that I had gotten into a car accident, and uh, that was... Yes, right. That was part of the reason why we didn't have a tournament last uh, last month. You lost a fight with an air conditioner. Yeah, I was driving down the highway, and we were going to a movie. I, uh, Kayla and I were going to see, um, what movie were we going to see that night? What movie were we going to see? Sausage Party? Nope. Uh, yeah, I don't remember. We were going to see some movie. Maybe somebody will say it in the chat. Um, and we were driving down the highway, and there's this highway that isn't lit. It's, like, really dark, and once you're at late at night, you can't see shit. And uh, a truck dropped... Ah, Star Trek. Thank you. Mm. Star Trek. Um, and uh, a truck... Uh, an air conditioning machine, like an, uh, an industrial one. like Not like a small one that you'd put in a window. We're talking like one that would fucking cool... It was industrial. It was industrial. It was, yeah. it was half the size of your door. Yeah. Right? Sitting in the middle of the highway, and I either had to turn left sharply and go into a ditch and hit fucking rock um, and maybe kill myself or the wife. So that option was no. Or I would turn right and smash the car that was to my right and then have them possibly go into a ditch and kill themselves. And that was also a no. So I had to slow down as much as I could. I didn't want to slam on my brakes. Um, I ended up probably hitting it going 80 to 90 kilometers. Uh, for those uh, you that are American, that's probably what uh, fifty miles 55, an hour. Fifty-five, fifty-five freedom units. Yep. Um, so yeah, ended up smashing that, and it wrecked the whole front of my car. Sixty-eight hundred dollars in damage. Fortunately, of course, I have insurance, um, but all the parts are. Well, I drive a BMW, so all the parts have to come from Germany. So I still have uh, a rental truck. And uh, hopefully I'll have my car late next week. But I've had this truck now for like three weeks. And it's still no word on when I'm going to get my car back. So that's pretty much what happened. Rip. <laughs> yep. Uh, meanwhile, I turn my car on in the driveway and it does it's about $4,000 of damage to itself. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, you know, it's just. Oh, fuck me in the asshole. Hey, but yeah, well, um, um, at least your car is going to be fixed yeah, at yeah. some point. And there is, the good thing was is there is no frame damage or it would have got written off. So fortunately, it it didn't do any frame damage. It just wrecked the That's rad in miracle. half. Yeah, yeah. It just wrecked the whole front. Like, the, I need a new bumper. They have to paint it. Uh, a bunch of other innards, like, underneath, uh, in and around the rad and shit. Basically, the whole front of the car just needs to be replaced. So... It's all good. It's all good. Yeah. Nobody was, was hurt. Nobody died. Uh, we didn't even have a sore neck the next day. How many times? How many times in your life are you going to be able to say that you uh, that you had to uh, hit an air conditioning hit, machine? Hit, hit an, an industrial air conditioner on the middle of a highway. Not many times. Not, uh, I it's. Just, uh, hold on. Before you go any further, I just I'm just a little mind fucked right now. Uh -huh. Is that plus two shield or plus one shield upgrade that's happening right now? Because one. Okay. Yeah, one shield. Why? Why is that happening? Um, I don't know. 
<laughs> I really don't know. Why? I don't even see it. I don't even see it upgrading. Does he have two forges? Why? What an absolute fucking. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, an, wait, I'm looking at the wrong guy. What an like, absolute whoa, whoa, whoa. legend. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, he's getting shields. Um, no, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't my fault because it was negligence of somebody else. Um, as of right now, it's considered my fault because if you hit something on the road, you're supposed to be paying attention. But, uh, the police report, um, the, the police officer that did up the police report and stuff, um, made it, you know, wrote, wrote it that said it was unavoidable. People had called 911 two minutes before I hit it, like two different people. Like when I hit it and I called 911, um, she knew exactly where I was. Like, when I said I just hit something in the middle of the road, she said, wait, are you here? And I was like, yes. And she was like, yeah, two people just called in. There was already a police officer uh, on the way. So, um, you know, that, that happened. But when it comes down to it, I'm not going to be penalized. My insurance isn't going to go up or anything like that. Yeah, I mean, the, the crazy thing about that highway is that there are zero lights yeah. anywhere on that highway. Yeah. Uh, for kilometers on end. It is pitch black. It's also the shittiest highway in the province for hydroplaning. Like, it's a death trap. The 103 is a death trap. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, yeah, I mean, I'm still shocked that there was a fucking industrial air conditioner in the middle of it, but that's just some shit. And that's they crazy. tried they tried to find who did it. Like, they, they tried to get, like, the serial number from it to try and trace on, like, where it came from, but they were thinking that it just came off the back of, like, a dumpster, like, of somebody that just collects a bunch of fucking trash. Yeah. And it was going to the dump because it was already in rough shape when I hit it. It wasn't like a... Uh, a fresh, pristine. Yeah, it wasn't like a fresh yeah. air conditioning machine. It looked like it was coming from a, a site where it was going, getting ready to go to the dump, and they just loaded up the truck too heavy. Um, either that or somebody deliberately put it in the middle of the highway, which is kind of hard to believe because the thing is huge, and no one's going to drive to the highway and just jump with the car and have three guys throw that thing in the middle of the highway and then speed off into the sunset. Yeah, exactly. It just doesn't, it just doesn't fly like that. A little, so. little fucky, but hey. It's going to get fixed. Yep. Someday. Yep. <laughs> only have to pay a deductible and um, maybe some towards rental car because they only cover you for so long. Mm, true. But uh, besides that, nobody was hurt. All is well. Couldn't ask for a uh, much better outcome than that, I suppose. Except no. Except for, you know. Just the, not hitting it. Not been, hitting it. Would have been, been a good been one. Ideal. Yep. Would have been ideal. So in the, in the process of all of that, there was obviously something that has happened, but it just a, a small yeah, change there was of some a, kind. Yeah, there was a, a cannon rush. It did literally nothing. He put, like, down two pylons, and a, I think he attempted one cannon, and he just pulled probes and stopped it immediately. So it was just it's one of those games where, yes, it's technically a when cheese fails, but the cheese was so minute that it really doesn't... Less than a quarter of a second of cheese. Yeah. Barely necessitating. Yeah. But hey... <clears throat> well, two void rays up here at the natural of Roger, and uh, he's now overcharging there. What happened here? He looks like he lost. Uh, he lost some probes. Uh, wasn't really paying attention there. But these two void rays are going to get rid of this uh, nexus. If I was him, I'd just get rid of these two stalkers. Could have gotten rid of those two stalkers and the nexus. Yeah, he could still micro to get he, rid of them, but not still, anymore. He could still no. Okay. All, all right. right. Great. So he's just threw a void ray for <laughs> zero reason at all. He just needed to stop attacking the nexus for point two. Dead. Dead. Finish it. Leave. Yep. But instead, he killed it. The two stalkers are alive, and he lost a void ray in the process. That's an unfortunate, you know, trade for him. Maybe if he had, you know, plus three shields, <laughs> it would have been the difference. Yeah. But. uh... Hey, sirrah, sirrah. Actually, no, that's blue that has the shield, so it wasn't wasn't uh, yeah, blue quite shield. right. Did he go another? Oh, no, it was just plus one. Just a plus one I'm shield. I'm so confused. The only upgrade he has it's, uh, it's is interesting. plasma shield. Maybe that's just because he knew he was going air and he wanted it to, you know, help out his void rays in, in some way, in some capacity. That's just nuts. He's, he's not going to get plus one because he's not even getting... Like, he's just getting... Oh, no, he has Warp Gate Research. So he's he's getting plus one air now, and he'll have plus one shields. But this is just one gateway. I don't know how he's expecting to win when he's on one base, his opponent's on two. They're both going Void Rays, so naturally, Red is going to have more Void Rays than what Roger's going to, and he's getting a third Stargate all on one base. You'll never be able to keep up. No. Ever. No. You won't even keep up, like, on the one. No. So... You don't... Uh, you, you can't... You can't be... 
You can you, literally impossible yeah, to, yeah. to pull that off resource wise. I mean, you can fool yourself by having kind of crappy macro. Yep. And then thinking that you can uh, run off of all of that at the same time, but not uh, not really going to happen. Uh, a little bit preemptive on that, on those stargates. But hey, he's got some more. He's going to go down. Looks like he's going to go in for uh, for round two of attack. What does Pinta have currently to respond to this? His own void rays. Yeah, he's got void rays, uh, and he's also got home court advantage. I think he upgraded his void rays attack and stuff, though. I think he's been using like actual yep, upgrades. Yep. Yeah. Plus one and and <laughs> and armor. So. Yeah. So. This is just gonna turn out really bad for Roger. It's gonna be plus one attack plus plasma shields versus plus one attack and uh, plus one armor. On yeah, the side and more of void rays and cannons, and, and he's also he, gonna yes. have a mothership core out here very soon. So it's gonna be kind of painful for Roger. And he already has more Void Rays than Roger does. Yeah. So, could be a terrible life choice about to incur, uh, or occur here for, uh, for Roger. Oh, it is, it is going to be a terrible life choice. Horrible, horrible life choice. He's thinking about it. Here we go. Going for the probes to start. Now going for, can't decide if he wants that assimilator or the Nexus. He's not going to get either. Wrecked. 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 And Wrecked. rip. This is where he just leaves the game. Yeah, Roger now working on uh, on plus one shields of himself uh, for the trifecta, the one one one. This guy is not giving up, man. Holy tits, dude! You are so behind. It's ridiculous. Well, he's got that second base finally, I think, finished. So he's going to start to uh, slowly saturate his first expansion, and maybe sometime before the end of the millennium have more than three Stargates viable. But at Do you the remember moment, the game uh, Fear Effect? Yes, it was awesome. I'm trying to find that game right now because I want to do a playthrough of it. Uh, there's some indie studio got the license for Fear Effect that they're doing some like top-down yeah. isometric bullshit Does for not it. look good at Does all. Does not look so hot. I mean, bless the indie devs for wanting to re you know, revive that series. Uh, but yeah, Fear Effect was 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 quite nice. Yeah, they have two of them, Fear Effect one and yeah, two. Yeah, one and two. Yeah, never. You know, that was you know, uh, technically, I want to say the Fear Effect chicks were uh, were hot for each other, if I remember correctly. Oh. If I remember, I, I don't remember any of the story. I just remember I liked it. No, it was very yeah, it was a very good game. Mm. Where did that pop up in your head? Just out of nowhere? Yeah, I mean, I've been looking for uh, Fear Effect one, Dino Crisis one and two, and. Um, uh, there was one other. Oh, Ape Escape. I'm looking for Ape Escape now too. I saw Dino. I saw Dino Crisis somewhere not long ago. Well, I saw one at a pawn shop, um, and then I, when I realized that I wanted the game and I went to go buy it, somebody already. Oh no and, way! And the thing was that Fear Effect was in that pawn shop for like two months, and this was like before I was like really heavy into collecting games, and yeah. so I was like, oh man, I should really pick that up. But they wanted like twenty five bucks for it, and. I'm kind of a cheapskate now when it comes to buying games because I'm so used to getting shit cheap at yard sales and shit. And then I was like, you know what? I want to do a playthrough of it, so I'll just go and pick it up. And I went there, and it was gone. Oh, that's salty. Yeah. So. That's absolutely. And it salt. also didn't have uh, it also didn't have the manual in it, and I like having things complete in box, like for disc-based things. No, yeah, that, that so, of course, yeah. That was another kind of turn off from it, but overall, I mean. I just want to copy. Them. Am I am I crazy or is this game literally like the Ben Stein of StarCraft games? Like monotone and boring as fuck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just Clear wanted to make sure I wasn't eyes. alone. Dry eyes. Dry eyes. Dry eyes. Win Ben Stein's money. I remember that show. Is he Canadian? I can't remember. Something if he if he I, is, I'm sorry. I feel like he's Canadian. But at the same time, I feel like he's American, too. Yeah, I have no idea. I, I get that vibe. I get both those vibes from him. Not a freaking clue. There was an older game I was thinking of the other day trying to hunt down to play, and I can't remember the name of it now. For what system? I think it was on a couple of different systems. Oh, okay. I just... Uh, bugger. I wish I remembered. Well, oh, no. Every now and then, I'll get, like, random cravings for old games out of nowhere and just try and fulfill it and I never end up actually playing them. Well, I don't know if you look behind me or not, but uh, if you ever have any cravings and there's a game you want to play, you know, you can easily just come here and grab a game. Yeah, there might be something in there. Don't I know play it. Kim Possible is a pretty dope PlayStation <laughs> 2 game. <laughs> so, <the> I mean. <laughs> Kim Possible. Kim Possible. I'm pretty, pretty sure good. I got that game and like uh, a big 
uh, lot of games that I bought, so I didn't. Yeah, probably. I didn't actively go out and buy Kim. I, I didn't. I didn't actually see. You know, he can't decide to shoot the one cannon that's killing him right now. He's having a real hard time. Uh, I didn't you know. I didn't think I, I could see you at a, at a yard sale going, man. I can't wait until I find that Kim Possible. You know what I just realized? What? That blue is winning. Is this a base race? Yes. Okay. So it's a base race. So basically, Roger just kept building void rays, and this guy uh, Pinta decided to just keep building DTs. And so now it is a base race that uh, Pinta is going to lose. I think the DPS on these DTs are going to be too strong. He does have a random pylon up here too. So by the time he kills this nexus and this nexus, uh, and then he's being revealed, he won't notice this until much later, um, unless he already has vision of it, which he doesn't. So he should be able to win this base race, but he really needs to attack with these DTs. He needs to go. It is basically the only way he's going to win this game. Yeah. So he kind of needs to do something. I don't know what he is doing otherwise. Is he just sitting around? Like what? What is he doing? He needs to go and attack with these DTs. Is he is he trying to just outward you know outright kill the void rays with his own? He doesn't have enough. He's going to need the backup of a, of a cannon or two like he's building now. He's going to need that overcharge. There you go. He's finally moving these DTs. Holy shit! Jesus. All right. Well, he's going to get rid of those. He's got to be revealed, or very close to being revealed. If so, all he's got is these two assimilators left. You go down, you kill that, it's over. He's got no other pylons, no probes, nothing. Unit wa- Oh, he does, he has one probe somewhere. Where the hell is it? Can you double click on the probe in the top left and- Yeah. Look at that. Alright, so. Down there in the bottom- He's hiding in the bottom right. right. And he's got enough for a couple more assimilators if he wants to, uh, drag this on for as long as humanly possible. Humanly Kim possible. <laughs> Fuck. Leave. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Leave. All right, well, he's got enough void rays now. He's even got an overcharge. He's got the void rays, so he should be okay. But, man, he was he was playing with fire there. He was playing with fire. All right, these two assimilators are down. So that reduces him to the one pylon. Yep, down here in the bottom right. And that's the show. So he needs to start... You know, working his way down there. Yes, today. Like sometime, you know. I mean, he doesn't. He there, this here can kill this anyway. So, uh, oh, he just wasted his charge. Oh God. He's gonna oh, hit him no. from behind. He's gonna hit him from behind. Oh my God. Oh no. Oh, there goes one boy. That's oh, it. that's Game it. Over. Game over. What a thrilling conclusion to another groundbreaking game of StarCraft II brought to you by Lag TV. Well, <laughs> there you have it. A, oh my uh, god, where am I? Nearly 20 minute game uh, reduced to, uh, to that. It was just one guy building up void rays, another guy building up void rays, that void ray killing that, bringing out some DTs. Making it seem like we might have a stupid, oh. dumb game turned into another typical. Just rip me. Rip the dream. I would rather watch more of my big, fat, gypsy wedding than have to watch that game again. Yeah, it was pretty uh, pretty brutes. Well, there's another one, guys. Um, hopefully you're enjoying them in some way. Um, we will be back right after this with another one. Don't forget to check out our sponsor links in the description below and sign up for those giveaways. We're right back.